As much drama as there is in the Atlanta school system right now with the forced departure of its superintendent, folks in DeKalb County say it's even worse there. That school system also losing its superintendent and starting its search for its sixth superintendent in 12 years. 11 Live's Doug Richards takes a look on New at 6. Well, Jennifer, this is the story of three school systems with a look at what's gone right and what has struggled. Go to DeKalb County Schools and you'll hear complaints about instability in a system that lost its accreditation in 2012 and got it back four years later. DeKalb has seen superintendents come and go like amusement park workers, seven of them in the last 20 years. Nepotism, cronyism, and the whole works. It's not so amusing to Joel Edwards. It's very unstable, and we're trying to bring the uh, stabilization up that we can be respected in the county and in the state. DeKalb and Atlanta have faced similar challenges, ranging from accreditation issues to criminal indictments to a revolving door of superintendents. Atlanta's issues culminated this week with the release of its superintendent, Maria Karstarfin. Meantime, just up the road, Gwinnett County is exceeding state averages in SAT scores and some say is thriving while navigating redistricting, testing, and budget controversies. Gwinnett County hired Alvin Wilbanks as superintendent in 1996. He's still superintendent, giving Gwinnett County stability lacking in DeKalb and Atlanta. You know, maybe sometimes it's luck. Former state senator Kurt Thompson says Gwinnett has mostly managed to steer clear of the politics that beset other school systems while retaining stability. Because if you're looking for quick, fast, silver bullet results in education, you know, it takes a long time, usually 12 years, to see results. Um, because you have to see if something that you started in first grade or K mm -hmm. has made an impact at 12. Some online sites show some folks in DeKalb County wanting its school board to consider hiring the newly available Maria Karstarfin. Whomever DeKalb hires will likely face a contentious tenure. Same with whomever Atlanta hires. Jennifer. All right, Doug, very interesting. Thank you.